My name is Andrew and I'm a Foreign Service Officer in, on the Public Diplomacy Career Track. And I'm working right now in the Operations Center, the Communications Center for the State Department. Before this job, um, I went to Japan to teach English for a while. I was there for three years. Um, really got the bug for living abroad. Really enjoyed that. Wanted to find a way to stay um, in the international arena, um, find a job that gave me a chance to travel. Um, didn't actually do that immediately. I was actually one of the Americans at the Japanese consulate in San Francisco doing a similar kind of thing. I'm helping them run one of their exchange programs to send people to go teach abroad in Japan like I had done. Some friends were taking the Foreign Service exam. They suggested, hey, why don't you come along? Um, I had thought about it a long time before, back in college, had never really given it that much thought. But then when the opportunity came up and my friends mentioned it, I suddenly started get, finding myself getting more and more interested all over again. My wife also um, just gave me that extra push and she um, had been working as a teacher in San Francisco but the timing just felt right and she said why don't you go for it. Um, wound up taking the test and here I am now. For any foreign service couple, family, I think you'll find out you really can't do this job alone. Um, I certainly couldn't do this job without my wife. Um, she, I mean, her support is absolutely essential and in a lot of ways her job is harder than mine. Um, when we go overseas, I have a job, I can go to the embassy, do my job throughout the day, um, whether it's processing visas or scheduling press conferences, but for spouses who are on, in the Foreign Service or partners on the Foreign Service, they're still at home. They have to find a way to figure out how to find a place for themselves in the new culture, um, what to do at home throughout the day. There is definitely support from the State Department. My first tour in the Foreign Service was as a press officer at our embassy in Tokyo. Um, so as a press officer, often I would help with different um, press interviews for VIPs or if our ambassador um, went somewhere in the country, we um, might arrange press interviews, um, press gaggles, things like that, all of the different press opportunities for them abroad. So I got to follow the ambassador, um, meet the, uh, um, the parents of this abducted girl, um, and then actually arrange for them to be able to walk that same path, um, uh, coordinate the press all the way as they talked, as they saw the house they used to live in, the school she used to go to. But most importantly, um, I was struck by meeting the parents themselves. Um, in this job, more than just the places that I've been to, the people that I've met have been absolutely incredible.